Hey beautiful souls, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Brianna Wise and today I wanted to do kind of like a storytelling vibe and also giving you tips and tricks on what it is to become a style influencer. I did a video maybe a little bit over a year ago called um, how to start from scratch as a fashion stylist and it did really really well so I wanted to also give some advice on style influencing and brand collaborations what that looks like brands reaching out to you or you reaching out to them and just how to start from scratch as a style influencer this does not matter if you're a fashion stylist it does not matter if you're a content creator trying to do lifestyle I found a way to incorporate all those things into my personal brand even while I'm a coach so I just wanted to show you guys or I just wanted to give some advice on how that looks and the possibilities for you as well because this industry is not going anywhere and I just love it because you're able to really just help other people and you're also able to just do what you love like if you love styling if you love helping other people if you love helping them build their confidence if you love just being able to voice yourself whether it be verbally or through your style or just your lifestyle and you think that it can help other people i just think this is a great way to do that and it's just such a beautiful thing that we can do that in this generation um so i just wanted to share some insights on what that looks like starting from scratch okay so if you're new to this channel my journey started as a fashion stylist i had so much love for just fashion and wanting to know like how i could help other people get styled but just not the clothes helping people feel better from the inside out i was a basketball player and i had a lot of friends that were also basketball players that would ask me way back when i was in high school like can you help me get dressed can you style me just because of the way I carry myself and at first I was scared like I had no idea what that looked like how I would make money from it when you go online and look for you know information is even to this day kind of hard to figure out so I just knew I wanted to be able to help people and I just threw myself in there I, I learned as I went so I ended up becoming a stylist for professional athletes and over time my career built and I was styling for commercials and brands and uh, actresses, actors, um, it, just, it just grew. And I learned so many things along the way. As I did that, I began coaching other people on how to be stylists as well. And also in life coaching, I'm a life coach as well. I just learned so much. I lived in Los Angeles and New York, total of those about eight years. And so I just learned so much through life, through a career in the entertainment industry, and also with production and doing all these things as far as creating content creating content on a bigger scale smaller scale and when i say bigger scale that means commercials you see on tv to content that you create for brands um, on social media a lot of brands will actually reach out to you to create content for them on social media and not in an aspect of a style influencer but actually behind the scenes styling the people on the camera so for example i was doing under armor a lot and i would style different athletes for their social media content so there's different elements and ways of being a style influencer however in this role i am in front of the camera so that transition was a bit tricky for me because i went from being a basketball player point guard i had a thousand points when i when i was playing in two years like like a, a, a good athlete in front of everybody all the time to going behind the scenes styling people and that transition to get back in front of the camera was tough <laughs> it was like wow i had to use all the things that i did in order to get my career where it was as an athlete and as a fashion stylist now in front of the camera and that confidence of building back up in order to do that was something i realized not only i had to work on with personal development and growth with myself but also as i work with other people as they're trying to become fashion stylists or working with other people in their personal lives as a life coach 
So these are things to even think about before you step in front of the camera because a lot of times we say we want to do this and we want to show up and we want to take photos and we want brands to reach out to us so we can film them on, you know, on our phones and, you know, get promotions and all these different things. But a lot of times the thing that's holding us back is our confidence and us wanting to just get up and do it, you know, in spite of fear, like just doing it. So that is a transition in itself and something that you should definitely take into account because we can always say we want to do something, but it takes the action to actually do something and show up and be consistent in that. That is going to make all the difference and that's going to help you grow. So that is the first thing that I think it's mindset. Mindset to know that you are going to have to build up that confidence to put yourself in front of the camera to show up and be consistent um, that that's the number one thing or tip that I would give the next thing is deciding the next thing is deciding on what platform you're going to use now there's so many different ones out here um, I personally I primarily am on YouTube I do have an Instagram I love posting on Instagram because it's more of aesthetics and it's more of you know being able to show a little bit of like your personality when it comes to funny memes or also your business and the things that you're doing or even your personal life a little bit so I like that however I feel like a more intimate vibe and getting to know people you can do through DMs but for people to really get to know who you are right here on YouTube and that's why I love this platform because you can actually just show your personality and you can give value but you do need to know what platform you're going to focus on and stick to that and I say that because it's, it's so many different things to learn with algorithms and SEO and tags and all these things that you can just get so overwhelmed with that you need to just focus on one thing at a time perfect that and then grow from there and that's something that I feel like I am learning now too um, like I still use Instagram but my focus is definitely on YouTube and it's so many benefits I'll explain all those different things um, in another video where I'll go more in depth on each one of these how to set them up and how I use them in order to grow my business as a style influencer as well as all the other things but focus on one platform at a time perfect that and then you know the other ones will flow you can promote your other content from the other channels on your main one but just focus on that and just get a schedule going so that you can be more consistent with that one the second the next one is deciding what your niche is going to be now as a style influencer i don't like the pigeonhole i think it's so many different elements to an individual where we have lifestyle, we like fashion, we like all these different, we like cooking, we like our showing our dog, we like showing our family, we like showing all these different things. However, I do believe that having big buckets and then narrowing them down is a great way um, to get a focus on what and who your audience is going to be. So for example, there's a content influencer that I love, her name is Millie. and she has a free uh, 12-year content creator book now it's not necessarily on styling but you can use it for any aspect and I love it because she talks about how you create three major buckets and you put the things under each one and you list them out so that you know the type of content that you're going to be creating so for example me I'm a fashion stylist, style influencer. I share lifestyle and I share content and business tips and ideas. Those are my three main buckets. Under those, I can create little content and it gives me ideas on all the things that I can post. And say for example, I'm using YouTube. I would like to be on a schedule where I post every week. That means I'll have something from one of those buckets every week. And that is how I'm building up my my audience and people will recognize and know me for that and not just for styling fashion and all those things people want a more intimate in-depth relationship even when it's just through a camera with you so showing different elements of your life is great to do that but also we grow we we 
we evolve as individuals and so you don't want to be pigeonholed in one area but just to say okay i'm a life coach and just to say i'm a stylist it's not all of me and no you don't have to share every element of who you are um to the public or on camera but you should show those important elements that you are trying to build your audience on in order to also connect and have um, you know brands want to reach out to you they have to know where your lane is so that they know okay this is a great person that we feel represents our brand and represents what we have so you have to stay in your lane <laughs> but also broaden your lane a little bit so that you're not just pigeonholed in one one space now the next one is going to be establishing your brand voice and aesthetic and that's just going to grow and evolve as you develop your niche and those buckets that i was talking about so what are your brand colors what is the tone that you're delivering when you're talking to your audience um you know are you are you funny are you you know very very serious like who is your audience going to be in a great way to kind of narrow that down is just try to think about who your perfect ideal customer or client would be or who your perfect brand would be that you're trying to attract and see how the language is on there or not change don't ever change be exactly who you are but you have to create an eye, an aesthetic that will attract the eye of the audience. Um, so you just have to try to determine and figure out what that will be. I mean, once you're consistent and you know what that vibe is, just like I said, be consistent with it. Canva is a great tool um, for creating um, aesthetics and, you know, different colors and fonts and all those things, as well as creative marketplace, which is a platform that will create multiple templates at once that you can just purchase and use that for your templates, whether it be your thumbnails or whether it be your Instagram page and flow. And then I love using AI right now. Like I have a few that I use. I use ChatGBT. I use um, Gemini from Google. I use uh, Claude. I, I use so many different ones just to try to understand um, just certain tones. Like I'm still obviously speaking as myself, but I have to understand my audience even more and that will help me do that. You can literally just ask it questions and it will spit out to you what that is and it'll even help you with determining who your perfect client will actually be um, and how to you know create and develop your business around that. I know I said I was going to create a, a video just on how I use AI in my business as a style influencer and I will definitely do that because I think it's something that it's going to continue to evolve and expand and we should learn how to use it it helps us in so many different ways it can be like your personal assistant and it can help you just build your business without feeling like you're alone it's so knowledgeable and it's so precise um, you still do your own research but just having that tool will save you so much time um, and it just depends on the one that you want to use and all those things that's why I would love to just create a video just talking about that but I kind of went sidetracked so let's get back to the video all right now the next thing you're going to want to do is create a compelling portfolio that means your content still guys like it's still about that but these are different um per these are more precise things in order to create your overall brand and that is what you're trying to do create your overall brand so that you can start attracting brands so creating an aesthetic that's a great portfolio like for example, say you're a beauty content creator, maybe you're creating videos where you're sampling out different products. Maybe you don't have brands sending you things yet, but you can start to practice and get in the flow and idea of how that would be to create some content. Just be you and just th that's what brands really want people to be you to be themselves because 
that's their audience like they will if, if you are their audience they are going to find you i promise you that like i get reached out to by brands who simply just come across me authentically being myself and say i love what you're doing and i want to work with you and we want to send you some product or we want to collaborate with you or we want you to consult with me and or consult with us so be yourself and brands will reach out to you but you have to build up your momentum you have to build up the consistency of you creating content and they will come trust me they're going to come and you can also reach out to them which we'll talk a little bit about later on in the video also making sure that you're creating high quality content don't think that that means you have to get all the equipment and don't think that means you have to get the camera the lighting the this the that you just need your phone and you need to stand in front of a, a window with some natural light and you can put a mirror up so you can see yourself and just shoot some content. I do have in the description um, in my Amazon store a bunch of different like tripods and things that you can use to prop up your phone if you don't have a camera so you can start creating content with your phone. You don't need a bunch of stuff to create high quality content. And even when I said if it's not physically you and your styled outfit or you physically in the camera, Canva, Canva is great, or Creative Marketplace, or templates, things like that. Just make sure it looks clean because think about the brand that you are trying to attract, or think about the perfect client you're trying to attract. It's professional. Like, no brand is out here that you're looking at that you want to work with that's not professional. So, you have to be as well. So, that's very important too. Is high quality content and just making sure like if you're taking a, a video or something on your phone or a photo look hold it up make sure you're in front of a window so that you can get that natural light and i promise you it will be high quality and and obviously as you grow you'll continue to get better like that's the muscle you're building getting better and better and better each time you do it so just keep keep at it y'all i promise Creating your portfolio is the best thing you can do. Um, it didn't take long before brands were reaching out. And I know that with the consistency that's been put in and the work, people will recognize that. And that's, that's what they are really looking for. And then as you're creating your content, you're going to get people that are starting to reach out to you. Um, maybe they're just giving some tips or maybe they want to just say thank you for showing your content thank you for creating and you want to be engaged like you're creating a real community of people that you ride with that ride with you so you want to engage with them you want to build real relationships even if it's, it's not in person like just saying thank you to someone can go a long way like you just never know who you could be inspiring who you could be helping and just by saying thank you just by smiling in front of the camera just by showing up you could be actually making someone's day or helping them in some way so creating engagement and responding and you know maybe asking questions and in inviting people in so that you can get a better understanding too of your audience or sometimes when i first started out i had a questionnaire form that i sent out and it was asking different questions to aspiring stylists just so that i could better understand who i was going to be helping and serving and i got so many responses back the thing is a lot of the responses were the same so it showed me who my perfect client was and that i was on target um with you know the content that i was creating that i knew it would resonate with them because they all responded the same way almost almost exactly the same way in all the forms and there were hundreds of them so just making sure that you're being you're engaging in some way um it, it's going to create a real genuine community of people that you ride with and that ride with you and as you grow they'll grow and it'll just continue to evolve that is the beauty of creating as a style influencer as a content creator you're going to continue to grow and other people are going to grow with you so now let's talk about some brands 
brands are definitely going to start reaching out to you when you are consistent, your high quality is there, you got your aesthetic, you got your brand voice, you know who you are, you know how you like to shoot your content, you know how you like to set up your camera, you know all those things, brands are gonna start reaching out because you're gonna be consistent with knowing who you are, the content that you create, and then that's going to draw them in now i've been getting a lot like i said of brands that reach out um some say yes to you some might say no like you you don't have to say yes to everyone but you have to like for me it's just so important for me to stay true to who i am and to myself and so i want to make sure that i work with people that i feel like i would really be able to help them and they will also help me grow like i'm learning more and more each day when it comes to style influencing um, it's just a bonus part of my business and so that is a great way to do that with the consistency now you can also collaborate with brands as an affiliate there are different platforms that you can use like LTK Amazon um, share a sale there's there's just different ones that you can apply to and there's a list of brands that are waiting for you to work with now on youtube i've, I've heard that they offer um something like a brand manager portfolio website i don't don't I'm, i know i may be saying this wrong but you can actually reach out to brands as a youtuber with that um you know there's templates and emails that you can use in order to reach out to different brands um I'll provide some of that information for you too because I know that people are wanting to learn how to reach out to brands. Um, but those are three great ways that you can start to work with brands and collaborate with brands as an affiliate, them reaching out to you, pitching them, or even as I was as a stylist behind the scenes, styling people and helping them get dressed for the camera, for social media, or for commercials. All of those are a form of advertising. Um, so that's essentially what you would be doing. Okay, so if anything out of this video, I do hope that you've learned that the main thing is being consistent and it's also being your true authentic self. Like that is the most important thing, creating a brand around that because you are only one you. Yes, it's a billion dollar industry, but brands are always looking for people like you. These are all the things that I did in order to grow my business. Like knowing that the consistency of just showing up and learning and doing research and you know creating my perfect pitch when i'm reaching out to brands or you know just creating content and how i know i like to show up on camera and the aesthetic of my wardrobe and the things i like to say to inspire and up uplift other people that is who i am and so i will continue to do that and continue to grow and that is how brands are starting to reach out to me i know there's so much information out there about how to be a content creator or a style influencer but i hope this gives a little more intimate and in-depth approach on just how to do that as a whole um, if you are a style influencer or are wanting to be one or a content creator or even a stylist if you're struggling with just showing up saying you're going to do something and then it's something holding you back from doing it reach out to me i would love to talk to you i would love to see if i could be of some help or service to you because i promise you this is the one of the most rewarding fulfilling feelings that you can have is showing up for yourself it builds your self-esteem it builds your confidence and knowing that you're helping other people do the same ah, i swear i love what i do and i encourage other people to do the same thing make sure that you also like share and subscribe um to my channel like share this information with someone that you may know who wants to be a style influencer or content creator aspiring stylist or any of the things that we've discussed i would love for you to share that information with them share the love like why not this is exciting i love like i promise y'all i love what this is and i want you to be able to feel that same way like man your life will change in so many different ways and it sometimes feels like it's overnight but it's such a blessing um so i just hope that this information was helpful if it was leave it down below and i love you guys i will see you in the next video bye